Hey, hey, hello guys. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here and you don't know, I am almost a dietitian. I just have to take my final exam and then I'm done and I will be a registered dietitian. Today we have a good one in store for you. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, follow along. Hope you guys enjoy. I wanted to kind of walk you guys through a day of eating when we don't have any groceries left. So I am scrambling barely any fresh produce. Like whatever is left in the fridge, in the pantry, freezer, I'm gonna make meals and snacks with that throughout the day and I wanted to kind of walk you through how I do that because I know I show these like crazy grocery hauls and all that, but that's not reality all the time. Like those last us about two weeks. So the last like three or four days of that two weeks or that last half of that second week is usually these type of meals. And Matt and I had a full day of eating like this yesterday too. And I was like, oh, I wish I filmed it behind the scenes of Instagram story. So I had my frothed cashew milk and a little nut pods in there already. And then there was a little milk left in here so I just directly put some coffee grounds in here so now that's all frothed up. And now let me put hands on, hands free mode. What do you do? Mm. Put it a little closer. You're watching that. I'm gonna press this. Um, beautiful. Boom. Look at that. Woo! So good. Here is the workout fit Amazon, Amazon. Uh, Adidas. These are really old shoes. I actually need new shoes. Um, but yeah, I will link everything down below. It's a resistance day, so excited. All right, I'm running late. Just chugged my coffee. Okay, bye. All right, I just got back from my workout, but I showered, put on this little set. I, right when I got home, I made a quick smoothie and then I hopped in the shower but I wanted to show you what I put in my smoothie. Smoothies are such an easy way when you don't have fresh groceries or you're running out of groceries. Smoothies are my go-to way to power pack my foods essentially. So making sure I'm getting enough healthy fats, good protein, um, nutrients, all of these little supplements that I have. Just, it's such an easy way to throw everything into a blender and everything is pretty much self shelf stable or like a freezer staple. I had berries. Um, just organic frozen berries, but I finished them so I have to pick up more at the grocery store today But any berries do I just get like a random blend always have protein powders This is the one I'm finishing up right now, and then I do a scoop of vital proteins, which I'm also out of <sighs> Collagen you guys know has just been a struggle for me I love that Modair one, but it's just too expensive for me like I just can't I can't Justify how quickly I go through it, but if you have the means definitely try out that one Scoop of this, a scoop of this. I just do either milk, I only have a little bit left of this, or water, or you could do orange juice, whatever you want, um, to whatever thickness you like. Then bee pollen, these things are all shelf stable. I keep this in the fridge, but bee pollen's great for immunity. Chia seeds, great omega-3, same with hemp parts, healthy fats. Flaxseed meal, great omega-3s too but it has those hormonal benefits that I've talked about before for like hormonal cancers. So I always do a tablespoon of this, then a teaspoon of these, scoop, scoop, whatever consistency you like, and then I do a half cup of frozen fruit. Whether that's banana or banana and, and berries, just berries, whatever I have on hand. If I had frozen spinach left, I would do that, but I also finished that today. Um, one of my tips, I always have frozen spinach on hand usually because whenever my, if my spinach goes bad in the fridge or is about to go bad, I just throw it in the freezer for smoothies. Or you can add it to sauces, like pasta sauces, stir fries, whatever. Okay, that's what I just had. <laughs> what is, are you a seal? Like literally, what is that? What is that position, Bubba? Rough life, huh? I took him to the gym with me. I ate that, I'm gonna go run some errands. 
I have to do some returns at Zara, so pray for me that um, the line isn't a million year long, years long. I, I also really want to find a dress for my birthday. So my birthday is August 18th, and Matt and I are going to dinner on August 14th, so I want to find like, a cute dress to wear just because I haven't bought like a cute dress in a while. Um, I was looking on Amazon, I didn't find anything that I like loved. So I'm going to the mall, they have like a Forever 21 and a Zara, so I'll not spend a lot of money because again, we're not trying to spend a lot of money. But I think I've had something cute. And I just did that a closet clean out, so I have a ton of, I got rid of a lot of clothes, so that's how I'm justifying. And I'm making returns, also justifying. It's like that TikTok. <laughs> and then also I just put in a big order for some Amazon activewear. Activewear, I actually can rationalize buying a lot, not a lot, but I can, every once in a while I just like, do a new up, up, updated on update on all my activewear because I work out every day and even when I'm not working out I'm still wearing activewear so I rationalize and justify workout clothing but like dresses and stuff I don't wear that often so that's where my mindset's at and Amazon has a bunch of cute sets right now and I want to do like a try on video for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for that okay also <laughs> So many things going on. I'm trying out this gut. Where's the box? I'm trying out this gut health test for you guys. Um, I will do a review with of it if I think it's worth it or not. But basically, it's like it'll test your microbiome. You send it off to a lab. You send off like a fecal sample to the lab. It's not gross. It's not gross at all. They send you everything you need. You send it off to the lab. They look at your microbiome, your gut health, all that. Then they send the results back to you. And then they will also like, you can also get like custom probiotics for that. So I'm doing all this research. I'm gonna see if it's worth it. And if it is, I'll definitely let you guys know, but I wanna test it out first before I recommend anything per usual. And I think that's all I am going to put my sunscreen on because I showered and did my skincare, put my sunscreen on and then Sneakers on. I don't know. I kind of want to try to get a cute pic, too. I'm trying to up my Instagram game, you guys. Uh, my my. What, what is this dog doing? Bubby. <laughs> the exhale. What is this positioning? For the sake of transparency, I also just want to show you my fridge right now. That I'm not lying. We basically have condiments. Nothing. Beverages, kombucha, Celsius, eggs. There are some hard boiled eggs in there too. That is a key that keep hard boiled eggs on hand. Like cheeses. And then this is our random veggie drawer. These are just like those noodles. Some carrots, the tiniest bit of green onion, one jalapeno, cabbage, red and green bell pepper. So, you guys see how much produce we get at the beginning of our grocery hauls? This is all we have left, okay? We eat a ton of veggies. I'll show you what I'm gonna have for lunch and how I use up those said veggies. And then this is just the drawer, the door. We are, we are sauce whores, okay? I love a good sauce, condiment, all that. So yeah, that's everything we have. Okay, now I'm having just a quick little snack. Another tip that I always have, I always keep nuts on hand. These are walnuts, these are Brazil nuts. I just have them in like an old bone broth jar to keep them fresh. But nuts again, really easy to just keep on hand. Buy in bulk, I like to buy them at Costco. Those are usually the most cost effective. It's a lot of good nutrients, healthy fats, filling because they are higher in fat. And I'll probably make some green tea with this as well. But just coming on here quickly, in between my smoothie and my lunch, just gonna snack on some nuts and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep answering some emails. All right, before we go any further in this video, I want to just say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Made in Cookware. So I know I've talked about different brands of cookware on here before, but I finally found one that makes me feel basically like I'm in a garden. If you don't know that is Food Network. You guys know she's like my inspo and I always see her cooking with like stainless clad. And this to me is like luxury, okay? Maybe it's just because I'm a cooking nerd, cooks your food so evenly it heats up so fast i love it because you can pop it in the oven too so let's say you're like searing something on the stove you can just pop it right in the oven because there's no plastic that can melt also 
fun fact if you're from Alin if you're from chicago you know the restaurant like the michelin star restaurant alinea they use made in they use made in cookware okay i'm not making this shit up that actually that, that's what sold me i was like yep they work directly with the craftsmen so they ship directly to you so there's like no weird middleman they don't mark up prices it's such good quality for an actually insane price so right now maiden is actually offering y'all 15 percent off of your first order of any maiden product so that's like knives pans wine glasses like they have the cutest wine glasses actually i was doing research and i saw it's like the best offer they have on the internet right now so like now's the time to buy if you guys want to check it out um they also have a lifetime guarantee so that's something i always look for in products i'm investing in i always want a lifetime guarantee because then there's really like no risk you know so check out maidencookware.com backslash blair y for your 15 percent off and yeah let's get into the video all right so for lunch one of my favorite ways to eat raw vegetables whenever you're like at the end of your your whatever two weeks any of your groceries and you have random like half vegetables left are spring rolls and you can also add like tofu or shrimp or tempeh or anything like that but pretty much any veggies go well in these um and then i always just add we have like pickled ginger and for the sauce i do the coconut coconut aminos sriracha peanut butter or any nut butter and then if i had sesame oil i would do that we don't have any and then also rice wine vinegar so mix those together and i also put a little wasabi because i'm crazy but you can put like kimchi or like cucumber literally anything you have onion just soak one of these spring roll skins i hate how they call it that in cold water for like five to ten seconds and it'll soften as you put some of the, the veggies in and then roll it up like a burrito and that's it very simple um i have more detailed instructions in the cookbook if any of you guys have the cookbook reference the spring roll recipe but that is one of my favorite ways to use up raw vegetables okay okay these are not pretty by any means but they taste really good easy way to get veg in dipping sauce mm. obviously this would be more filled if you have like shrimp or something you can easily just boil a shrimp slice it in half Put those in here, some tofu. It's delish. Mm. All right, for my next snack to eat when you have nothing fresh is this bean dip. So hear me out, just, just wait. So I always have like a bunch of either refried beans or canned beans on hand. I just like to look for black beans, water, and salt as the ingredients. If you only have like regular black beans, you can actually mash them up with a fork and kind of get that consistency it's a little it's not the exact same but it's very similar so i already have some in here that i'm finishing up um and then i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it herman sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it and then i'm going to pop it in the microwave to heat through for like a minute or so you can either cook the beans first through and then just like add the last like 30 seconds add the cheese doesn't matter whatever you want and then i just have some random tortillas left so these are the high fiber tortillas they have eight grams of fiber per tortilla. Obviously beans are high fiber too, also high protein. And then the cheese is also high protein. It's a meat free alternative. It's not nothing fresh per se, but you still get those good nutrients and fiber. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these tortillas, cut it into little chip sizes, pop them, spray them with a little um, avocado oil spray or whatever spray oil you have. Pop them in the air fryer, 350 for like five, seven minutes until they get like crisp chip texture. And then you have this warm bean dip. There you go, high protein, high fiber, little snack, very easy things that you probably have on hand. Okay, I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so I did like 350 for about six minutes. And you can see, they're very chip-like. Um, you can also like sprinkle, after you spray them, before you start the air fryer, you can like sprinkle tahini on them or like, Taco seasoning, anything you want. Flavor them. Ranch seasoning. Get a little crazy. A little Cool Ranch Dorito action. And also, if you don't like beans for whatever reason, you can also just make like regular nachos or you can use salsa instead. Let's get this out. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, that good bean dip. I'm going to top it with a little hot sauce. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to slam that. If you had like some random green onion left over, some random jalapeno left over, you can also mix those in. This is what I'm talking about, just very 
just an easy staple pantry meal. I am so Italian. That anyone can make, super easy. You can switch it up based on what you have, but this just like kind of get your mind going in that direction, you know? All right, bye. Full transparency, I filmed this whole dinner that we ate that day, but my memory card got corrupted and the files got lost. So instead of stressing out about it uh, anymore, I am just refilming this a few days later and I'm gonna upload the video and just whatever. I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what I did though. So what I always have on hand for dinners or even lunches towards the end of when our groceries are running out, we always make sure to have a bunch of pasta on hand. So I like the chickpea or lentil pasta just because it adds a ton of extra protein. So if you didn't know, two ounces of this pasta has 12 grams of plant-based protein. So let's say these are great because if you don't have like, any other sources of protein and you're just trying to get rid of like random leftover veggies that you have, so we have like half a red bell pepper, half an onion, some broccoli and a jalapeno, you can chop all that up saute it in a pan if you'd like mushrooms or literally any vegetable kale spinach saute that up in a pan with some olive oil while you're boiling your pasta and then once your pasta is done drain it and then pour just whatever sauce you have we always have pasta sauce on hand i actually really like this one from heb spicy red pepper pour the sauce directly in to the sauteed vegetable pan that you're using mix all that together and then just combine all that back into the pot that you the drained pasta pot so just combining everything and it's such a good way to have an easy, quick meal that's gonna use up the rest of your veggies. I'll insert a video of it because I Instagrammed it and a lot of you guys are like, what is that? On that one we added kale because we had extra kale left over. But seriously, so simple. So make sure you're always buying pasta just to stock up on. A red lentil, roti needs two ounces, 13 grams of protein, protein, the only ingredients, red lentil flour, okay? Obviously regular pasta works too, but this is just another way that you can add extra protein to your meals. So this is one of our go-to meals. Another way that we use it, I'll just show you since I'm here. Since we're already here, we always keep a pizza crust on hand. So this is another great way for you to just basically do the same thing in just different form. Cook the crust, whatever crust you want, that's just what we have right now, to whatever the box says. Then as your pasta sauce, or your pizza sauce, just add pasta sauce and then slice up whatever veggies you have. You can saute them or put them on raw, whatever works best. And then you have a quick pizza too. If you have like some mozzarella cheese on hand or we want to do like a white pizza, like I don't know, any random dips that you have left over, like the garlic dip from Trader Joe's is great on pizza. It's just another way to use up extra veg. So these are two of our go-to ways to incorporate vegetables that are left over. Also, top your pizzas with balsamic glaze and thank me later, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye, you guys. Woo!